Hello guys, my name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of brutal Russian invasion. So if you support Ukraine and you want to follow the updates from my country, please subscribe. This is the best way to demonstrate your solidarity. And I want to start with a fun fact. In Ukrainian YouTube, various fortune tellers, people who predict future with the help of tarot cards, became extremely popular. Well, perhaps challenging, stressful times lead to magical thinking. And if I were one of such fortune tellers, they have more views than I do, uh, I would start with a question. How long will Strelkov Hirkin stay alive after saying yesterday that he is ready to try himself in the next presidential elections in Auckland? Why do I say Auckland? Well, because Strelkov Hirkin is just another org, same as Prihozhin, same as Putin, who are extremely anti-Western, anti-Ukrainian, anti-humane, anti-democratic, and so on and so forth. What is interesting, at this moment, Strelkov Hirkin is both the enemy of the civilized world and the enemy of Putin. Let me remind you his brief biography. He is an FSB agent who was involved in the annexation of Crimea and a Russian war on Donbass. So in 2014, he was very active in Ukraine. And also there is an order to arrest him by the International Criminal Court because he is one of the persons responsible for the shooting of Boeing MH 17, which led to the death of hundreds of innocent people. So to sum it all up, of course, Tilkov Hirkin is an international criminal, war criminal and a terrorist. But he is also an enemy of Putin, because since the start of this full-scale Russian war in Ukraine, he did not participate in it, but he criticized Russian war on his YouTube, on various channels, saying that Russians are really bad at killing Ukrainians. He was criticizing Putin, he was criticizing uh, Prihozhin, he was even praising Ukrainian armed forces for making Russia weak, but he is not pro-Ukrainian. Once again, all of his narratives were addressed to Russians, to tell them that Putin is weak, Russian forces are weak in killing Ukrainians. So once again, he is an enemy, but in this case, he is both an enemy of us and an enemy of Putin. Why? Because by criticizing him, he started attracting many of former Putin's electorate, especially chauvinistic and nationalistic Russians, who want more aggressive actions towards the world than even Putin offers them. Think again, in Russia there are many people who think that Putin is too kind. If you agree that modern Russia is a terrorist state and something serious should be done and you're not yet subscribed, please do demonstrate your solidarity and spread the word. So, <clears throat> he was arrested by Putin in July 2023 uh, and accused of extremism on the internet. Well, like, all Russia is an extremist country and we pretty well understand that the reason for that was his growing popularity. And now, after the death of Prihozhin, who was an alternative to Putin, perhaps he will gain more and more popularity among this even more radical, even more chauvinistic Russians. That's why he announced being in prison at the moment, but the court is in the process. He announced that he wants to become a candidate for the next presidential elections, which take place in Russia in 2024. I have already recorded a video on that. Russia has lots of problems looking for uh, candidates who are not young because uh, Putin typically has a couple of totally fake candidates to fake elections because we all understand that Russia and elections are not combinable. These are oxymoron, but they need to fake it and they are looking for older candidates because anyone younger than Putin can actually be interesting. 
and uh, of course i am like a fortune teller 100 percent confident that the next elections in russia putin will win but of course uh, there are some elites there are some people who are dissatisfied and perhaps they keep a um, close eye on um, possible potential future candidates whom they can support if something goes wrong you know life in russia is totally unpredictable so they look who can substitute putin and despite the fact that he uses botox he hides in bunkers he has so many doublets he protects himself from anything he is growing older and there will be a day when uh, he will die of course, Putin does not want to think about that, but I'm sure people around him think about that. And many people all over the world think how to actually fasten this date. So anyway, at the moment, uh, Putin was pretty effective in cleaning everything around him. Uh, there are no real opponents. Chauvinist Navalny is in prison, Prihozhin is in hell, Hirkin at the moment is in prison, and if someone else will appear, he will, of course, be also imprisoned or killed. <clears throat> but uh, life is, you know, unpredictable, and death of Prihozhin might have led to some dissatisfaction with, uh, within Russian society and potentially uh, search for Putin's alternatives. And Strelkov Hirkin decided to start his campaign uh, right in jail. I am not sure he will be registered as a candidate if it is possible. I am not sure he will survive a month or half a year. And actually think about that, how frustrating how awful this fact is all of us knew Prihozhin would die and he died all of us know that Putin's opponents enemies die because of I don't know various things poisoning jumping out of the window and like nobody cares in the world and there will be still people who say we have to negotiate with Putin even knowing he personally kills everyone who is his enemy so uh, the question is, will Strelkov here can survive? Will Putin kill him so that we don't have to in future? But the trouble is Russian society is very, very ill. And like, I don't see any, any alternative to Putin or other orcs who can um, involve themselves in the competition. Let me know, what do you think about this? situation uh, of course elections in russia are impossible but they can cause some chaos and chaos is always good for us thank you so much for buying me coffees uh, and hot tea i caught a cold uh, thank you for becoming my patrons uh, subscribe to my twitter instagram threads and discord community introduce yourself to our merch shop but most importantly Think about Ukraine, speak about Ukraine, support Ukraine, and I'm very grateful that you do that. Slava Ukraini!